You are invited over to our party, okay? It is a tradition here on Fox 59 Morning News. We plan this. Our birthdays are the same yes, yesterday. yesterday. Every year, our favorite dietitian, Kim Galliaz, presents her holiday cookie showcase. This year, she's highlighting a seasonal favorite, sandwich cookies. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love two cookies with decadent filling in between? She's here with four of her favorite recipes, along with a few healthy eating tips, too. This one you made for me. I made this one for you, and this is why it's for you, because I know you love heath pieces. I use the bits of brickle without the chocolate, mm. and I use roasted salted almonds. You don't even have to roast them. They're already available in the Kroger produce area, the Simple Truth nuts, and they have salted caramel, that dulce de leche in the middle with some salt mm. sprinkled over it, and then another cookie on top, and voila, you have some don't heart, if I do. heart and, healthy nutrients from those almonds. Oh my gosh. Okay. As Jim would say, shut your mouth and call me Susie. <laughs> what do you think? Shut oh. your mouth and call me Susie. Salty. They're so soft. Crunchy. Soft. And then I love that mm. almond. Nutty. Mm. And then the crunch. Yeah, some mm. chewy. Cr oh, I, and I love this one too. Mm. It's that sweet salty. Oh but I really love yeah, how convenient it is mm. because you mm. just mm. open that can mm. of the Dolce de Leche uh, mm. from Nestle mm. and you just spread it on there. Mm. And Angela, I just want to say these are relatively small. That's the way to do a sandwich cookie because you want to sample all of them. You mm. don't want it to be jumbo. No. You want portion control yes. so you can watch your calories. Oh, um, so good. I it love that It's like almond. a macadamia nut. I mean, I, um, I'm sorry, Mexican wedding cake. It, it's actually a butter cookie okay. with flour, sugar, butter, yes. absolutely. A little bit of almond mm. extract okay. as well. I love okay? the almond. I do too. That's one of my favorite okay. extracts. Okay. okay, we gotta go. Now this is my favorite. This is the cherry chocolate sandwich cookie. It's like a chocolate covered cherry. You might have to eat it sideways because it's okay. so tall. Okay, this is the most decadent chocolate overload cookie you will ever bake. You can make them gooier. Cook them less, but you got to have a little bit of texture there to put that cherry cream, uh, cherry buttercream icing in the middle. What do you think? I love it. It's very rich. Very rich. But then you get the strawberry or the cherry, cherry. In, in the middle, kind of offsets that richness. Right, and it. it's going to be sweet, sweet, sweet. But this mm. is literally a good quality good. chocolate. I like to use the private selection semi sweet and mm. the Ghirardelli mm. uh, bittersweet. Lots of maraschino cherries, and you have a fabulous sandwich it's cookie really with good. chocolate overload. I'm trying I'm not to not eat. I'm not a fan of cherries, but I love it. I'm trying not to eat one of each because I really want to eat this one. Let's go here with. Orange, orange and chocolate, such a great combo. Another one? This yeah, is a butter cookie. My coat Nothing here. but Let's flour, sugar, butter, no egg in this one. It's a slice and bake, very easy. You're going to make chocolate mm. ganache to put in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's infused with a lot of orange zest mm -hmm. and a little bit of orange extract. But cho chocolate ganache is so easy. You just take heavy cream mm. and chocolate mm. chips and put it on the oh. stove, and you just let it sit till it gets the right texture. I love texture. the zing. Isn't that interesting. Orange? Yeah, that really orange good. in there. Yeah, I do love okay. that. Okay, right, now we have one minute. I want to see. We have two cinnamon rolls. All cookies, but basically they're snickerdoodles stuffed with cream cheese icing. Jim, are you going to get a yes. brown sugar cream cheese icing or <laughs> a look, regular look. cream cheese? Oh, regular. okay, Wait, I got that's the, regular. the regular. There's a brown sugar right there. Oh, oh my God, I'm so Cameron, excited. Cameron, you can have some. Yeah, Cameron, come over I created this Cameron. recipe with brown okay, sugar, okay, the cream Cameron. cheese icing. Okay, so brown sugar, sugar brown cream sugar. cheese so or regular cream cheese. Yeah, either one oh, and tons stays, of Cameron, pecans for those heart healthy nutrients and lots of anti-inflammatory properties to offset the sugar flour butter. It's a snickerdoodle cookie with double cinnamon. Ton, and it, does it taste a little bit like a cinnamon roll? It tastes 100% uh -huh. uh -huh. like a cinnamon roll. Oh my God, I'm so excited because that's what I was mm. trying to achieve. Mm. So um, this is a uh, basically you the just use sugar. a little scoop. <laughs> I'm getting fed now. <laughs> like wedding cake. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're like brother and sister. Treat. But remember to oh make God. the sandwich cookies moderate to small size to keep mm. your calories under control so you can sample all your favorite holiday Come cookies. Are any of these baked? Are they baked? or Because how do you keep them so moist? How do you do that? without Under bake them a little bit. It's the right amount of sugar and mm. flour and butter mixed okay. together mm. and not Fantastic. over baking them, getting them off the cookie sheet relatively mm. soon so they don't harden even more. She's got it down to science. Mm. I, I do, and That's I love she baking. Is Kim <laughs> Hello. You're not. I'm not. And they <laughs> Thank are you for delicious. Thank trying them. Oh, yes, so no. Okay, I'm going to have a sugar rush. You probably want to okay. try a couple of these at home. For sure. Yes. Fox59.com. She is giving you her recipes because that's what Kim does. <laughs> so good. Mm. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming. Happy holidays mm -hmm. to you, you both. Too. You